got a $10 billion line of credit. Is that right? Yes, sir. You, and, and changing out the sorting machines and removing and changing out mail collection boxes is nothing different than has happened before. Right? Every, every postmaster general, every, every, every year we do those sort of things. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so there's no, no different. In fact, what was the number? I think between 2011 and 2016, it's like 12,000 mail collection boxes that were removed, changed out by the Obama-Biden administration. Is that right? It was a lot. I don't know. Yeah, it was a lot. No. And you didn't order a reduction in overtime or reduction in hours. I think you testified that earlier. I did not. So why are, they, why, why, why are these guys out to get you? What is it? I don't, I don't, uh, they have their own concerns. I assume they're legitimate with them. And, well, you, uh, assume, you assume they're legitimate? Why, why are they out to get you? I mean, Mr. DeJoy, they, they've had people protesting at your house last night. They've been doing it for weeks. Ninety-some of these people have already called for you to, to resign. They, have, they passed the bill before they even talked to you, before they even had a hearing. They're not interested in bipartisan solution, as evidenced by the fact the chairwoman wouldn't even contact the White House chief of staff, who had a bill that he worked on with the previous chairman, the late Chairman Cummings, a bipartisan bill to address concerns at the post office. So I'm asking you, why are they after you? You were, uh, you, first of all, you were, you, were, uh, you were appointed by the Board of Governors, right? I was appointed by unanimous appointment by a bipartisan unanimous, Board of Governors. Unanimous vote. Bipartisan, not all Republicans. Democrats thought you were the right guy for the job, right? Yes, sir. So why are they out to get you? I, uh, I, I have no, no idea. I do have a lot of support out there amongst the employees and people in America, though. I receive it every day. You got an amazing record in business. You got an amazing history of community service. You help kids with their education, you serve your community, serve our country, and these people are out to get you. When all the facts, none of the facts, th 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 as the Wall Street Journal said, this is one giant conspiracy from the Democrats. I'm just, I just want to know what, what, what could be their reason? What could it be, Mr. DeJoy? We know it's not based on the facts. What could it be? Uh, uh, you, Might it be you, politics? Might it be? Might it be the election coming up? Might it be the fact that they actually want to wait and count votes after Election Day? Maybe they want six weeks after the election. Maybe they want to be counting votes six weeks after the election, the presidential election, the biggest election we're going to have. Maybe they, maybe they want to be counting votes six weeks after like they did in the chairwoman's race or four weeks after like they did in New Jersey. Or maybe they want to wait forever like they did in the Democrat Iowa caucuses. Might that be the reason? The chaos and confusion that we saw with all three of those elections. Maybe that's what they want. Could that be the reason, Mr. DeJoy? I, I don't know. Uh what motivates people to have different opinions of me? Well, they've called you all kinds of names today already. Hey, Protesting man. outside your house. They were there last night, weren't they? Yes, sir. Banging pots and pans outside your house, disrupting your neighbors, disrupting you. Mm -hmm. When the facts, the facts, as you've testified, are not anything close to what they've been saying for the last three weeks, what they said Saturday on the House floor. This is, we, we know what this is about. We all know what this is about. This is about these guys wanting chaos and confusion because they, I think they know this. I think they know on election night, President Trump's going to win. They know on election day, the vote count on election day, President Trump's going to win. And they want to keep counting. Six weeks, four weeks, Iowa caucus, whenever. I don't know when they decided that one. I still don't know if they've declared a winner. I don't know if it was Bernie or Biden or whoever was running then. That's what they want. And they're willing to go after a guy like you who has served our country, served his community, helps kids with their education, amazing record in business. They're willing to go after you. And you've been on the job 70 days. And everything you've testified is nothing new that's been done by the same thing's been done by other postmaster generals. And yet they're coming after you because that's how much they want to get this president. It's disgusting. And we all know what's going on. And you're, the fact that you won't, you know it too, you won't say it. I think that shows your, your character as well. But I'll say it because it's the truth. And the American people understand it and see right through it. I yield back. The gentleman uh, back up, Congressman Kirshner Warthy. You're now recognized. Good morning, Mr. DeJoy. Good morning. Before becoming Postmaster General, I believe you appropriately resigned from being the finance chair for the Republican National Convention, correct? I did, sir. And I say you appropriately resigned because even in your written testimony, you said we should keep the non